here's Rachel Jontel talking to peers uh, about drug use. Now, this is interesting for a couple reasons. Uh, let's play it, and then I'll break it down afterwards. Did you see him with a gun? No. What about drugs? Drugs. Okay. Weed. You just say marijuana. Mm -hmm. but in my area, we say weed. <laughs> my area, weed, for Trayvon, I can explain one thing. We don't do make him go crazy. It just make him go hungry. But he just... <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the best thing I can say. <laughs> now, look, that's funny and it's cute, but there, uh, there's actually a serious part to this. And this is a point I haven't heard anybody make yet. I haven't heard anybody make yet, right? Which is that most people, when they hear like there was trace amounts of um, THC in Trayvon system. First of all, they don't understand trace amounts means he could have smoked anywhere within like a month's time span. So it doesn't mean he was high that night, right? But I actually take it a step further because if you know anything about drugs, not all drugs are the same. So if let's say, uh, for example, they said there was a large amount of cocaine in his system. Well, then that actually helps, would have helped the defense because cocaine is a drug that gets you wired and you're, you're ready to go, like you're very energetic. And, or let's say there was alcohol in the system. Alcohol has a documented history of people being more aggressive when they're on it, right? Now, weed is in the uh, category of drugs that do the opposite. So weed is like Xanax in the sense that, it, like she says, oh, it doesn't make him go crazy, it makes him hungry, right? And it's, it's a, you want to relax and watch reruns on TV when you're high on weed. Same thing if it was Xanax or Klonopin or any Valium, anything that's a, a downer like that. So if anything, and here's the main point. This was like trumpeted by defenders of Zimmerman as like, oh, we got him, oh, he was on weed, oh, God, yeah, we got him. Yeah, but you jackass, if anything, that helps uh, the prosecution. Because it's like, oh, he's on weed, so he would have been much more docile, and he would have been much more likely to avoid conflict. And that, that's the main point here, and it amazes me. You know what it shows you? We're still stuck in that Puritan mentality about drugs, where people just hear the term drug, and they, they lump them all together. Drug equals bad. Yeah, but drugs have different effects on you, and some are more likely to get you wired, and some are more likely to bring you down. So if, if it was a drug that would bring, make you more calm, then obviously that would help the prosecution's case. But see, most people don't know anything about drugs. They're just like, oh, but he was on drugs, a typical black guy, and it's bad, and he must have been up to something no good. Ah! 